what's up beautiful people amazing people how are you all doing how are you all doing you guys i hope you all are doing amazingly well <laughs> you are welcome to another video you guys there's been lots of videos coming up about what happened in maui and i thought i'd bring it on here because well why not so please don't forget to like share subscribe if you haven't already Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And with that being said, let's get into it. So guys, before we dive right into it, I just want to put a huge trigger warning on here. And of course, a disclaimer, because like I said before, we are going to be talking more about what happened in Maui and what is still happening over there. So if this brings back an unpleasant memory or if this is a bit triggering for you, please kindly click off of this video. And also, this video is for educational purposes only, and everything in this video is alleged. Please, don't come for me telling me I'm spreading, you know, false information and so on. This is the internet. I am trying to bring forward to you what is going on and what people are saying about it. So everything here is alleged. Do your own research as well. And lastly, please be kind to one another. But yeah, let's get into it. As the internet is still breaking as people are still voicing their opinion and not understanding why the fire started, how the fire started, and the fact that the media is not covering this enough. Look. They decided to call their airline early in the morning to cancel their flight. When we were first, you know, some of our, you know, fondest memories, the people, the culture, that just everything about Maui. <laughs> this has got to be a joke. Right now, we're getting a number of calls for people concerned about their safety and whether it is appropriate for them to travel to travel. at this time. Travel what about the natives? What about the freaking natives? I'm so... Oh my gosh, that makes me sick. I just turned that shit off and like they ended off like with saying that Maui relies on tourism dollars. How? Oprah has a house over there. Zuckerberg bought whatever. Like they done came and took the land and are now all i see on the news is how sad it is that tourists can't travel all i see is how they all had to leave maui and they're also all i see are white people on the news are you kidding me there's a bigger agenda here y'all and also there are so many videos floating around social media as a matter of fact floating around the whole internet as to how this is not just a wildfire this is not just an accident that happened in maui as a matter of fact they are saying that something bigger is actually going on in maui and a lot of people are labeling this as a conspiracy theory like what do you guys think about this do you think it's a conspiracy theory because there are lots of videos coming out every single day as to how this is a conspiracy theory and they are bringing forth videos you know showing that the rich people's homes did not get affected in the fire like all the billionaires and millionaires that live in maui their homes are safe no scratch nothing not even an ash on their homes and also there's they're you know bringing forward videos of how all everything made of blue like cars umbrellas and so on did not catch fire did not burn did not even it that the fire did not even touch it one bit i'm pretty sure you all have seen the video of the blue car floating around and the video of the umbrella as well there's also a video of um uh, there's this video of laser tasting on uh, different color materials and the blue one did not cut fire. And because of these videos, a lot of people are still going on, uh, still saying that this is a conspiracy theory and there is much more bigger thing going on in Maui. But what do you guys think? I did. I, I didn't want to, but... I had no choice and I found out more information for y'all, so get ready because what? So the reason why I'm so pressed with what's happening in Maui is because that's an island. Like they're trying to normalize the natural disasters that happen here, like in California and the States and say that a wildfire happened in Maui. No, we don't just naturally get fires. And because the knowledge that I have and many of you as well have, we know that when they want to clear something out or when they don't, when there's something going on that they don't like, what are they going to do? They're going to do fire. They're going to do whatever they're going to make whatever storm happen to clear out the land that they 
need. So keep that in mind because I've learned that throughout my history with my people that that's how what they do. They'll set fires to kill out those people, clear the land, so it's easier for them to rebuild. And that is what happened in Maui because they want to make it into a smart city. They held a forum there earlier this year, but the people don't want it. All right, guys, before I start this video, I need to remind you that this is a conspiracy theory of what happened at Maui. All right. And I'm going to ask you to please save this video because a lot of people that's posted videos about Maui have had their videos removed. And I think there's a lot of things you need to see in here. Now, to start off, we need to time travel a little bit back in time to January 28th. And I think a lot of you will remember January 28th because that's the day the spy balloon was going over the United States. What a lot of people don't realize, though, is that on the same day, the University of Hawaii released this photo of green lasers going from space onto Hawaii. Believe it or not, this was all over the news. You just don't remember it because of the whole spy balloon going on. Now, China did later comment about the lasers, stating that it was for they were measuring for pollutants and, and geography and all that. But this former Marine actually had a pretty good thing to say about it, is that why would the Chinese be measuring for pollutants when they're the biggest polluters on Earth? So I did a little research, and online you can actually see where satellites were in the past. So I put in the exact time those lasers were there on January 28th, and the satellite was right over Hawaii. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you've seen this video on TikTok where it shows all the different colors and the colors that the lasers actually burn, okay? Keep this in your mind, that the blue did not get burned. And also keep this in your mind, right on a Chinese website, blue tin roofs spring up in China, all over. Wonder why. Now, I know you've already seen these photos too. This is one of the photos of the blue cloth that did not get burned, even though the fire went right through there. And to be honest, the photos go on and on. I mean, guys, even cars, blue cars, did not get burned. There's another over there. Now this entire building went down and everything near it. Blue umbrella stood. Now this even goes deeper, okay? You see all this aluminum that was melted from these cars? Do you guys realize how hot it's gotta be to melt aluminum? 1,221 degrees. But something is a little strange here, okay? Okay, so I want you to look at all the roads, all right? You notice how they're just fine? They're not all melted, they're all not all bad. It's kind of strange because the melting point of asphalt is 343 degrees Fahrenheit. So naturally, I dug a little bit deeper. And online, you can actually get a list of the times of when the fire started, where they're at, and all that in Maui. And the crazy part is, every single big event that happened during that time, the satellite happened to be pretty close. So here's my recommendation. Take this video however you want to. Do your own research. Look at where the satellites were during these major events. I looked at probably 15 different spots uh, in time where the big events were happening during the fire. And every time the satellite was nearby. Don't believe everything the government has told you because they've lied to you so many times in the past, including a lot recently, including the whole pipeline that blew up that happened to be owned by Russia, and then the United States blamed it on Russia, saying the Russians blew it up. Why would they blow up their own pipeline? Well, we found out about a year later that Biden ordered that pipeline to be blown up. And then the whole aliens thing and everything else. Take it as you will. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. Save this video. 
Furthermore, people are really worried about the missing children and of course asking why they would be why they would send kids home knowing that their parents are not home. And of course there was a roadblock as well. Like the whole thing, to be honest, it's it, it's it's not really making any sense. I'm not trying to push out any false narrative here, but when you really think about it, it's not making any sense. They sent the kids home allegedly because of the wind, and then there was a roadblock. The parents couldn't get to their children, and the children were even sent home with a lot of their parents already at work and not home. And even when the fire started, people are also saying that the water was the water was cut off. There was no water to put out the fire. Like what is going on? I'm not trying to say this is a conspiracy theory. I'm not trying to push out any narrative, but I don't know. Like I said, do your own research because when you really think about this, it, it's not making any sense. The math is definitely not mathing here. It is not mathing. Why did they send the kids home knowing that a lot of their parents are not home without even notifying their parents the kids were home alone like why why would they even do that and then there was a roadblock and then the water was cut off there was no people couldn't you know help put out the fire because there was no water what is going on see i'm coming for it all today this right here this right here on the morning that this happened, all the kids were sent back home and most of their parents went to work and then went to work away from their homes. So the kids got sent back to where their parents weren't even at. And then they put up blockage to allow the parents to come back in to see their kids. You know what? Anybody, anybody that's within the government realm of that area needs to be fired. Needs to be, needs to be fired. You don't play around with children's lives. You don't have the, the, the mindset to think properly inside your head when it comes to children and to know that their parents weren't even at home. You couldn't even set up a proper way to get the children all to safety and then later say that we have your children in a safe place. This is horrible. You don't play around with kids. You don't play around with the future. This is not done on accident. How could my, how could myself, I'm not even trained in this and I know better. Everybody needs to let go. Everybody needs to get fired. You know, what if in Maui, they never sent the children home? They went to the school, got them on buses, and brought the children to wherever they want to bring them. And are telling the parents and the schools that they released the children, brought them home, and now they're telling them that the bodies are turned to ashes. So that way there's no proof, you know, of the children. You would think you'd see bone or something of the kids, you know, if they're in the house. But apparently they were completely incinerated, turned to ash. Or maybe they weren't. Maybe they are somewhere else. I hear there's underground shit over there in Maui. I don't know. Um, it's just me being a conspiracy theory. The firefighters earlier that day did not make sure that the fire that they had been working on was fully out. The water was shut off to the area, so when the fires kicked up and people tried to put it out themselves, there was no water from the hoses to help put it out. School was canceled that day, and so all the little kiddos were sent home while their parents were still at work. And the little kiddos did not have a cell phone. They didn't know that they were supposed to leave. The majority, I think, of the bodies they're going to find are going to be children. There were no alarms which the tsunami warning system could have easily been used to trigger once they realized their fires were getting out of control. Also, the elders, they most of them had landlines. They didn't get a cell phone warning. I have two theories about the police doing the DNA testing and finding bodies. They've only searched about, I think, 3% was the last thing I saw, a uh, mount of the wreckage with the dogs to find 
remains and um, children, their bones aren't fully developed, right? So the incineration point is a lot lower in temperature than somebody with fully calcified adult bones. I don't know if the police are purposefully slowing down their investigation as to not anger the people about the missing children. And by missing, I mean clearly not around anymore. Or if it's because it was children and their bones are no longer um, around because they're not fully calcified. There is plenty of aid that's coming to the island but is being prevented to, with to do they are preventing the distribution of those resources to the people because it's not going through FEMA, who is actively trying to get people to sign contracts, which would give them eminent domain, which means they could take their land without paying them anything. And by anything, I mean nothing of what those properties are actually worth. The government is literally starving those people, forcing them to sign these contracts to get their land instead of helping the people like they're supposed to. Then you have people like Oprah showing up, trying to do photo ops, and her normal, I mean, we all know Oprah, right? She's been around for decades, where she's this clear personality, and throughout the entire time that she's been in any of the videos, she's just this, she can't make eye contact with people. She can't be her bubbly, like, inquisitive self, like she she shows on her shows that she's been on. And it, I think she's, I, my hunch is she's a part of it, and she has enormous guilt, enormous guilt in what she has actively participated in, which I think it is a, a group of those wealthy elite that own the majority of that island. Like, she owns, what, 2,000 acres now? of Maui it doesn't make any sense why anybody would own that much land that it's an island those indigenous people already had it stolen why would you why no they're not slick just wait everybody like just wait until our people find out the truth they know they know how powerful we all are together. And if everybody knew what really happened, and if we all stood up against it, it's done. Especially as Islanders, do you know how unified we all are? We're a unit. I'm going to share the photo, but y'all, did y'all know that they shut the water off? They shut all the water off. So some pe I seen a video saying like, oh, this smart man used the water hose to fight off the fire from his house. Everybody tried. The water was off. Not only that, all the children were home because school was canceled that day. They were all home. And the parents weren't there to evacuate them. Y'all, please pause and read what one of my sources sent me. The locals are already traumatized with enough to deal with. But as the truth comes out, we can share it and put a stop to the evil and the narrative that they're trying to put out there. You guys, this is insane. This is crazy. Like when you think about all this, this is total bananas. And one common question a lot of people are asking is where are the children? Where are the missing children of Maui? And apparently there's not even an accurate number of how many kids are missing. I saw an article saying it was five, 1,500 children. I saw another article saying it was 2,000 children. And some are even saying that there are no kids missing. No kids have even been accounted for. Like there is so many articles saying different numbers. So what is going on? What is really going on? The mayor of Maui was recently asked about the missing children and how many children are missing. And he said, and I quote, I don't know. I don't know. I was yes, you do. Answer. How many children are missing? You know. I knew the answer to that. I would be happy to answer that. You have no estimate as to how many so, children are missing? I guess Nothing? we can end this right now. If you guys want. Sorry. This is one of the biggest stays, questions that the stays, people of Lahaina no, have. You know what I mean? It always takes one or two to ruin it for everybody. Please, this That's is our, our only opportunity. Oh, we can say that about you. You've ruined it for everybody. You're welcome to say it. 
Okay. You're the media. You can say whatever you want. You're a disaster. All right. Okay. Please. Yeah, You've been the worst please. mayor we could possibly imagine. Really Wait. Respect. Wait respect turn. what? You this is the most dismal response we ever please. have. You won't wait for your turn. You, you want to shout over these guys that are legitimate. Why don't you give them the real answers then? So. Give are them the you? real answers. That's not oh, his question. Let him. Let him. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. You can go. You can go. Yeah. What I read this morning was truly shocking. This is literally probably going to go down as one of the worst natural disasters on American soil, but also really one of the greatest mysteries. And it needs to get solved and needs to get solved now. I, let Take a look at this. Okay, this is the Hawaii News Now website. And if you look at the date, it is August 22nd. They're talking about the missing people and getting an updated list. But look at this. Look at this. It says, I'll zoom in. The list also includes no identified minors, even though children are among the victims. So of the updated list of 1,054 people, none of them are children. What? What, what, what the hell is that? So they have a list, an updated list from two days ago of, of 1,054 uh, unidentified or unconfirmed people, and none of them are minors? None of them are children? That makes zero sense. The FBI is compiling the list? Yeah, they're reputable. Um, I just don't understand what is going on. I don't understand what the delay is. I don't understand what the, I, what, this is insanity and it's still not being reported. I just got off the phone with someone that didn't even know Maui. They thought Maui was a city. <sighs> I mean, do you, you see that movie, uh, that show Stranger Things? The, what is it called? The Upside Down World? This is literally like, the, what is going on? It's like the Twilight Zone. This cup it says so i think it's backwards but it says better things are coming at this point i'm not so sure but we need to get the word out this is i don't i don't understand where are the children aloha today is the first of many daily reports where i will provide updates on the number of missing persons early and throughout the duration of the disaster friends and family have been providing the american red cross the FBI Honolulu, the Maui Police Department, and the Emergency Management Agency names of the unaccounted individuals relating to the Lahaina wildfires. Recently, these lists were combined and refined by the FBI. This is a thorough and time-consuming process. I want to get this information out, and it is my sad duty to report that 114 individuals have been confirmed deceased. 27 individuals have been identified and 11 families have been notified. The FBI and Maui County Coroner are working together to identify all the recovered remains. There are currently 850 names on the list of missing persons. There is positive news in this number because when this process began, the missing person list contained over 2,000 names. Through the tireless work of the FBI and the Maui Police Department, over 1,285 individuals have been located safe. We are both saddened and relieved about these numbers as we continue the recovery process. The number identified will rise and the number of missing may decrease, but there will be daily fluctuations in the numbers as family members are added and removed from the list. But I need your help. If you have an immediate family member unaccounted for because of the Lahaina wildfires and you wish to provide a DNA sample to assist, please go to the Family Assistance Center at Hyatt Regency, Kanapali, between 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. daily to provide your DNA sample. For those on the neighbor islands or the continental U.S., you can call the FBI at 808-566-4300. Again, that's 808-566-4300 to arrange to provide a DNA sample. On Tuesday, August 22nd, I will hold a press conference. 
Normally, questions are from media representatives, but I would like the public to email questions as well. I invite the public to email questions to my office at community at MauiCounty.gov. Again, that's community at MauiCounty.gov. I will do my best to respond to your questions. Our lives have changed forever and things will not be the same. What will be the same is the way we care for each other as we grieve and go through this together. Mahalo and Malama Pono. The mayor of Maui doesn't know. And because of all these random numbers, all these, you know, videos and articles coming up and saying different things. If these kids are missing, what about their parents? Why are the parents not coming up? Why are the parents not? making videos, not going to the police, not doing anything. Why are we not hearing anything from the parents? Now, it is very interesting that you point that out. So I will say allegedly because I'm not sure, but out of these 2,000 kids that are still missing, where are their parents? Are the parents also missing? You know, I'm not sure because then that would answer that. But are the parents also missing? Because if not, where are these 2,000 kids from? Like, are they from, like, group homes or, you know, it'd just be so convenient, though, that 2,000 kids would go missing in a fire, right? Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly! So I can't get sued, because I ain't got no money, but Oprah got plenty. <laughs> Two days ago, Josh... Green, the governor mentioned that there's over a thousand people missing. Now I'm hearing numbers like 850. So the question are, did where are those? Where's the difference? Where's the delta? Where are the people? Why? This is the number one question. Why isn't it being answered? Why are people not discussing it? Why is it not on the mainstream news? Why is it only like Jesse Waters from Fox News is talking about it? Where is everybody? Where are the people? Where's your count? What's the accurate list? Who's in there? Why? Wh how'd it go from 1,050 that were confirmed? Now we're at 850. Somebody e explain that. And by the way, like, share, and comment, and push this video out because this is the number one thing that we need answered. Where is everybody? Where are the parents? If there's hundreds and hundreds of kids missing, did uh, the, did the parents perish? Are they are they not reaching out? Are we not getting that message out? Are they are they shutting that message down? I want to know, and you should too the internet as to why the kids are missing and how why they are not found and why the fire started how the fire started and so on what do you guys think about all this because all the like it's with all this video flying there might be a tiny tiny bit of truth to it though i don't know but what do you guys think this whole thing is bananas like i said my thoughts and prayers always goes to maui the locals of maui i hope they get all the help they deserve all the help they need. I hope they heal and everything goes well, of course. And but please, you guys, please leave your thoughts and let me know what you think at the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next one. Stay blessed and much love. Bye.